Hello, welcome back to this tutorial. Today we are going to see how to use the plugin Garmin Custom Map in Quantum GIS. This plugin will help you to introduce your map in your GPS. This is a little bit like a Venza map with the difference that your GPS is more accurate, more precise and this may be more useful if you have to plot, for example, shelters or if you have to install a tap stand so you will be able to reach a more precise location. What you have to do at the beginning is to display your map in your uh, quantum GIS. Here we have an example of a site called Nyamusasi 2 in uh, Republic Democratic of Congo close to Lac Albert. You see the map? We have to display exactly what you want to have in your GPS. In this case, for example, I do not want to have my wash activities, therefore I unselect them. The education I might not want it as well. The hangar I don't want it as well. What I want is just the boundary of the site and the shelters. So I also uncheck the contour line. Okay, now I have a an image that is going to be displaced in my GPS. I will have to install the plugin. I go to plugin, manage and install plugin. Okay, you check for the plugin called Garmin Custom Map. It's here. I don't have to install it because I have it installed it already. So you install it like usually. And once it is installed, the plugin will appear here. Fine. Now we have our plugin and we have displayed our map. So you click on plugin Garmin custom map and create a custom map from map canvas. Here you have to choose a location where you want to save your Garmin custom map. I choose a temporary folder on my desktop and I call it Nyamusasi one. The one is just a number because I will make several examples just to show the result when you change some parameters that we are going to see now. So I save it and there I have the parameters. You see here this red line. This says you that the projection of your map it is not compatible with the projection of your GPS. This is normal because as per default your GPS as a geographic projection and you might work in metric projection like I do but uh, don't worry even if you have this kind of uh, error message the system will work properly now here you have parameters to change the parameters that really matters in our case is this one so we do the first attempt with number one zoom and we see how it looks like we click on ok and the job is done now we do another example with another parameter, same process, plugin, Garmin custom map, create, same place, uh, but this time I call it Nyamusasi 2, save, you have again the red line, don't worry, but here I change the parameter on 2, fine, now let's do in another one with parameter 3, same place, Nyamusasi 3, okay, Okay, and the last one, let's do it with Nyamusasi parameter 6. Nyamusasi, this time we put parameter number 6. Save, and here we put a 6. Fine. Now the work with Quantum GIS is done. You can save it and even go out of Quantum GIS. Before installing the map into my GPS, I want to check the quality of the producted maps. There are several ways to do that. You can check it with Google Earth, for example, or you can check it with uh, Global Mapper. I check it with Google Earth web version. I just add this produced map, import from KML, so you have the four Nyamusasi, I, 
I start with number one. Here it is, the right position. Let's check the resolution. You see the resolution is not that good. Let's check with the second append with the parameter number two, import from KML. Okay, here it is, this is one. And this is two. Let's go again, zoom in. We can see that the resolution is better. Now let's import number three. Let's check again. And let's check with Nyamusasi six. Fine. So here we have Nyamusasi six good resolution Nyamusasi 3 it is a bad resolution most probably mean I didn't type properly the parameter and Nyamusasi 2 and Nyamusasi 1 so you see Nyamusasi 6 has a much better resolution that's why we are going to use Nyamusasi 6 let's check the dimension of the file as well 1.6 mega so you see 1 as 141 kilobyte and it goes up higher you put this parameter better resolution you will get on your gps at this point you connect your gps i have a gps map 62s from garmin on your computer and you wait that the gps is recognized by your computer i take this file i copy it and I install it in my GPS Garmin directory Garmin custom map fine it's here now at this point you take your GPS uh, you check that the map is installed you go on main menu you go on setup you go on map you choose map information select map check that your map is enabled the map is called Nyamusasi 6 so I have several maps all my maps which are not imported are disabled except the map of Democratic Republic of Congo it's enabled and the map of Nyamusasi 6 it's also enabled and at this point I just go to Nyamusasi it is one point that I put previously move to location okay you can see now that this site is properly displayed in your GPS let's zoom in to see the resolution the resolution is actually not so bad you can see each single shelter and through that you can plot your shelter thank you very much for following this tutorial